The ACLU in New Hampshire has released a report showing the number of people that get imprisoned because they're poor and unable to pay for citations. So let's say they are guilty of a moving violation like speeding or, or rolling through a stop sign. Well, they'll get a ticket that could be worth hundreds of dollars, and if they can't pay for it, they are unfortunately imprisoned as a result. Now, the new report from the ACLU of New Hampshire revealed that in 2013 alone, Courts in New Hampshire sent defendants to jail in lieu of a fine in at least 289 cases. Again, these are just people who cannot afford to pay their tickets, and so they go to jail. So one transcript indicates that a hearing over a criminal trespass case started at 11.12 a.m. and was over by 11.13 a.m. in less than 90 seconds. According to the report, the judge accepted the defendant's plea to what amounted to a traffic ticket, fined him $100 plus an additional court fee, and sent him to jail to pay off the fine. So oftentimes what happens is if you tell the judge, look, I just, I don't have the money, I can't pay for this, the judge will give you the option of community service, or you go to jail and you pay back $50 a day each day you're in jail. So each day in jail, means $50, and you have to go as long as it takes for you to pay off that fine. But by the way, it actually costs more money for the state to imprison these people because mm -hmm. it costs $150 to keep an inmate in jail. We're right back into debtor's prisons. Yep. Just no way around it. That's exactly what's happening. So uh, this used to happen, and people revolted against it. They were so mad that y y people would get put in prison for basically for being poor, right? Uh, and we're right back in the soup. I mean, we've rolled the clock back, you know, over 100 years. So right now, of course, rich people don't have to deal with this. They're like, a $100 ticket. Right, gone. By the way, it's never just $100. The fees that are added to it will increase the price to $300 in some cases. So it really depends on what the court fees are. But they're very, very expensive. They actually cost more than the price of the violation itself. It's sickening, man. Yeah. So I'm going to give you uh, one story that they profiled that really, really stood out to me. And it was about a 22-year-old woman who's a single mother. She has two infants, okay? So her name is Alejandra Coro. And apparently she pleaded guilty to a reduced violation level offense and was sentenced to a fine of $1,000 with $500 of the fine suspended on the condition that she not commit any new crimes for one year. Now the crime that she committed was serious if you ask me. She stole more than $600 worth of merchandise from a Sears because she's poor and her kids needed clothing, okay? Mm -hmm. But still, that's not an excuse you shouldn't be stealing from any store. Anyway, she pleaded guilty and then this is what happened. Additionally, there was a $120 penalty assessment bringing her total fine to $620. All right. Okay. So what ended up happening with her is she let the judge know that she can't pay that fine. It's just too much money. She's a single mom. She has two young children. So the judge said, that's fine. I'm going to make you do uh, 62 hours of community service. So she did about 20 hours of community service, and then her house burned down in a fire. Mm -hmm. And she had nowhere to live. So she's trying to figure out where to live. Eventually, she ends up in her mother's home with her two kids. She goes back to court, and she says, look, I want to finish the community service. Um, I know that I haven't finished it by the due date, but just give me some more time and I'll finish it. And the judge is like, nope, nine days in prison. So she got sentenced to nine days, and then the ACLU got involved, and they actually got her out after one day. But this is what's happening in the country right now. Yeah. Now, in her case, since she stole something, I'm less outraged because she could have gotten prison time for that anyway, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when it's a traffic uh, ticket, it's sometimes parking meters snowball into fines large enough where then they Im imprison you. Sometimes the parking meters are sold off to private corporations. They fine you, but since technically you owe the government because they bought it off the government, they're like, okay, it's not a private debt, which you can't go to prison for. It's a public debt. You owe the government. You can go to prison for that because of a parking ticket, they throw you in jail. That's crazy. That's crazy. And so traffic tickets, these are things that you should not go to jail for. And then, by the way, when you're in jail, oftentimes they have you work at prison wages. Yeah. For, you know, less than a dollar uh, an hour. 
and then somebody makes money off of that. Yeah, and, uh, and look, it really, and in some places, some places there are private prisons, yeah. and then they make more money off of that. Yeah, it really it depends on where you end up because if you're in a county jail, you're unlikely to have to do that. If you end up with a lengthy prison sentence, then yes, you do end up working for no wage at all, basically. And and so the overall point though is not like don't get me wrong it's not like okay they're going to grab everybody up and then they're going to turn to slave wages and stuff that does happen on a macro scale unfortunately because of our war on drugs etc but it's not necessarily a conspiracy what, what, the the real problem is the devaluation of human beings mm -hmm. like these are the judges and the system doesn't see Alejandro or the others as people that would be in their family, like for them, like the, in the judge's family, if someone went to prison for nine days, I'd be like, oh my God, prison for nine days, are you okay? That would be like world changing. But for the people that come in their court with no power, no money, they're like disposable, disposable. Mm -hmm. Where where do you belong? You belong in prison. Go, prison, prison, prison. Okay, you do a real crime, you should serve time. We all agree with that, right? But not for traffic tickets, not for parking tickets, not for nonsense like this. You can't bring back debtors' prisons.